Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the Git console variable node. Well, right here we have the Git console variable nodes. There's three of them. They're all similar. Once we run it, it's going to ask us for our variable name. This is just a simple string. And it's going to be a console variable. And the output is going to be either a Boolean, a float, or an integer, depending on which of these nodes are going to use. Now you might be wondering, well, what's the point of this? Well, you can execute console commands. Say we want to change something like the foliage scaling or the resolution, but you can't get back the values of those current variables unless you use a node like this. Okay, great. You can get the variables. Again, what's the point? Well, maybe you're making a debug menu. So you might want to know what the current eye adaptation method override is so you can display it to the user while they're debugging. Or you're making a tool in the engine. Let's say we want to have the ability to increase or decrease the density scale by a more granular level. If we're to look inside of our engine here, let's make sure the density scale is hooked up. We'll hit play, and you can see 0.0, .0 is our current density scale. And that's because it's set through our scalability setting here, and it's set in a certain percentage. If we disable scalability, let's turn it back to epic. One of the commands that runs in here is the foliage density scale the console variable gets changed to 1.0 and we can confirm that with play. However, what if we want it to be something that was like 0.78? Well, the default scalability settings really don't allow for that. It's more like 0%, 40%, 70%, and 100%. We could grab the current value and then increase it or decrease it by a set amount, maybe 10%, and have a much more granular adjustable settings while we're testing. Or maybe you just want to know if something's on or off. You could use the return value from the Boolean here. Now keep in mind, this is kind of a fake Boolean. If the integer console has a non-zero value, it's considered true. If it's a zero, it's false. That's kind of the way trues and falses work on the back end. So if you grab something like this right here, the I adaptation method override, and you had it set to three, which is the manual, and you did the get console variable bool, it's going to return back false because it is a non-zero value when it's actually not relevant because this console variable doesn't have true or false. But something like disable bandwidth throttling does. So just keep in mind, make sure you're using the correct output for the correct type of console variable.